Hi, I'm Crystalline Mate, and I'm a Creative Memories Advisor as well as a content contributor for the Creative Memories Home Office. Thanks for tuning in today. Today I have a layout to share with you that I've been asked about quite a bit. I'm going to show you how I made it and give you a few tips and tricks to make it really easy to create. You can find this layout in the summer 2023 sketch booklet that's put out by Creative Memories. And it is the one that is created using the Totally Tonal Green, Kelly Green Collection. And you can see that this sketch layout gives you variations and it does give measurements, but it doesn't really give instructions on how to create this fun little banner effect. So I wanted to kind of give you some ideas on how you could make that today. So today, um, instead of using the Totally Tonal Collection, I'm going to be using the Back to School Collection. And specifically, I want to try out these really cool new texture designer papers that are kind of meant to coordinate with all kinds of school sports and activities. And so you've got everything from fields to mats to ice to water to um, curtains and you name it, um, a, a court. There's just a lot of different options here. And today I'm gonna make a soccer layout. So if you wanna make something similar to this, Grab your cardstock in your favorite school colors. Grab a pack of these that will, will work out well for your sport or activity, and you can join me. So I'm gonna be using the on the field embellishments as well as the make your mark embellishments that kind of works for a whole bunch of different things. I'm also going to use the back to school designer paper, variety mats and stickers to, to coordinate with it. And I'm going to use blue cardstock. Again, I would choose whatever cardstock fits the school colors the best for you. I'm using the 12 inch trimmer, the 13 inch cutting mat, micro tip scissors, repositionable tape runner, regular tape runner, foam squares, and pencil and ruler. Okay, so let's get started. First off, you want to pick out paper to use for the base and then for the banner. And so what I've chosen is this cool uh, starry paper from the back to school designer paper pack. It's got stripes on one side and just a nice kind of tone on tone starry print. And then I've chosen blue cardstock and on top of it, I've got this green field type paper, okay? So we are gonna set this aside. If you did want to save some of this paper, you could cut a frame out of the back of this paper. I'm not gonna do that today to save time. I am just gonna get going on the flag. So what we're gonna create first is this piece right here, okay? All right, we're gonna cut both of these papers together to begin with. And I'm using the measurements for the, the bottom paper, which is the blue cardstock. It's just gonna make this cut easier when you're doing both of them together like this. It'll make everything um, match and line up perfectly because we want this to be just sort of an eighth of an inch mat around the whole thing. So we're just gonna start out by trimming the paper down just a little bit. And I'm just gonna take a quarter of an inch off one end. I should point out, the, the way that the layout, I did it the first time, I had this uh, banner kind of going off on the left-hand side. Today, I want it to be like this, more like a sports pennant kind of thing. So we're just gonna kind of make it like this. And so I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep this white strip that's printed on the paper right up at the top. So I'm gonna cut off just a quarter of an inch off the bottom of this. And 
and then I'm going to cut off the sides. I'm going to, I'm going to cut this down to 10 and a quarter inches. Okay, from here, we want to line this up on on our cutting mat so we can find the center. And I really love using the 12 inch cutting mat for doing a lot of things, but using the, the ruler on here is, is really handy. So I'm gonna take my ruler and pencil and I'm gonna find the center. So this is 10 and a quarter. The center is gonna be five and one eighth. And I'm just gonna mark in I'm going to find that center and then I'm going to mark in at one and a quarter inches and I'm just going to place a dot. So we've got the center at one and a quarter inches and now I can, you don't have to do the lines, actually draw the lines in. I'm going to just to make it a little bit clearer to cut. And you're going to go from one corner to that middle dot. And then you're going to go from the other corner to that middle dot. And we have our pennant shape, our flag shape. Okay, I'm sure that's very easy to see, but this is what we're going to be cutting out. So now we're gonna take our trimmer and we're gonna just line this up. Again, I've got both pieces stacked at this point. And we're just gonna line this up on the, on the cutting line so that we can just cut that piece off. I like to put the center right about at the six inch mark, just to help me when I'm cutting to, I can, I can kind of use that as my guide. Again, knowing that this particular piece is two inches long and that this cutting, this is the, where the, cut, the blade is at one inch, right in the center. So if I just kind of eyeball this and I wanna get, and I wanna cut to six inches, I can kind of follow this down until the end of this piece is at seven inches, knowing then that the blade will have stopped at six. So I hope that makes sense to you. Um, you can also cut with scissors if that is easier for you but you just want to be careful with this part and just make sure you're lined up. You can use your little sight guides too to kind of help you make sure that you're right on that cutting line. And then you're gonna just cut from the corner and I'm gonna kind of stop when my blade or this back of it or this piece of it is gonna reach just, just under seven inches. Okay, so now I've got it cut all the way there. So now we're just gonna rotate this a little bit and cut the other side. And again, I'm, I'm right about at the six inch mark, just kind of helps. And I'm just gonna finagle this around until I get this just exactly where I want it. And now I'm gonna cut until the, this reaches almost to the five. And so this piece is cut away. And now what, what's nice is that these two pieces match exactly. Okay, so now we just need, we, we want to have this blue be a little bit of a frame. So we're just gonna take an eighth of an inch off of both of these sides. And, and an eighth of an inch is just gonna be at this right hand dotted line here. So just kind of line it up. and just trim off that eighth of an inch. You can flip this over to the back side and then we'll do the other side at eight, an eighth of an inch as well. And then we just wanna take this remaining piece here and we're gonna cut that off at eighth of an inch. Okay, so now when we put this together, it should line up really nice and easily. And you can see that it does, that works really well. So I'm just gonna tape this down. Oops. And 
and it's flush all the way to the top. And then there's an eighth of an inch mat all the way around. Okay, so now we'll bring our base piece back and we can just tape this right on top. Doesn't that look sharp? I love that gold for the background. And I'm gonna line this up right here so I can, I can make it nice and even. And we're gonna be sort of at the 7 8 inch mark on either side. And flush all the way to the top. Okay, so there's our layout. And of course, I thought it would be a lot of fun to make this into a two page layout. I didn't do that initially. And so I do have another side that I've already created so we can just make a, a really cool looking sports page, two page layout. I do wanna point out with this one, I did trim out a frame on this one. I cut out a piece of the back. I think it's about nine by nine and a quarter or something, nine and a half, nine by nine and a half, making sure that I left a lot of room here at the bottom for this um, piece to, to overlap onto. Okay, so if you, if you do wanna save a little bit of your back, and I wanted to save some of the stripe paper to use um, on this layout, so I did trim out the back. And um, that's just a, a good idea to do when you have, when you have paper you wanna conserve. And so that way you've got a lot more to work with. Okay, so now to continue this layout, we, we want to finish up. We've got, we've got some photos that we want to put on here, and we also want to use, um, make some of these little um, strips, these other little flags. And so, of course, my layout is pointing this way now. And I'm, I'm just, I want to use some of this white stripe here too. So I'm just going to take a couple different scraps of paper. I think this one might be from the um, annuals. Uh, the, the, the ones that have the um, eighth grade, ninth grade, you know, all those years on one side, and then they have some other pieces on the other. This is all I have left of that paper, and I love it. And I thought it would just carry the stars across, and it would be just a nice, um, a nice contrasting color. So we're going to use that, and what we want is to cut two half inch strips. And you can use either the right or left side of your um, your strip for these measurements for these small pieces. When they get tiny, you just kind of have to be careful and hold everything down real, real good. Okay, so I've got two of those and then I want to use this stripe paper to add some color as well. So I'm just gonna cut, and this is what I cut out of the back of that one sheet. And I'm just gonna cut out a couple more half inch strips. And from there, we're gonna cut these. We wanna, we wanna cut a little um, notch in them. So they're like a, a little flag shape, a ribbon shape. And you can just use your scissors and cut like this. You can kind of fold these carefully and trim them like that. Um, one of the ways I like to cut with these the best is I like to take my, my square punch, flip it over, and just place my papers inside like this and line it up and then just trim, you know, cut that little knot, just kind of line it up in the corner like this and then snip. So whatever way works, works for you is great, but you get some cute 
little ends that way. So I'm going to do that with all of them. Then they're all the same. Okay. So now what I was thinking is that I would take and put one of these on each side, like this. And then I wanna put one of these up here as well. So we're just gonna cut maybe an inch off these. Now in my original layout, I actually had just grouped these together like this and just arranged them. Let's say I've got all these different colors and kind of just, just by hand arranged them how I wanted them. And then I laid them on the, on the layout and put adhesive down and then trimmed off the ends. So that is one way that you can do that if you wanna follow what the, the sketch shows. Let me show you that again. Looks like this. And, and just layer them however you like, and then you can stick an embellishment or sticker right in that um, where they join. But with this one, because I have this stripe going straight across, I thought I would just keep these simple. So I'm just going to place them like this. I think that'll be good. So you just want to apply your adhesive and get these adhered. There are so many different ways that you can use this particular layout. I think that the fact that you're using the, um, you've got this little flag shape here, just adds some interest in a different way to your layout. And when you can cut them together like that, I think it, it just makes them so much easier to put together. Looks harder than it is. Okay, so I've got that all lined up. The next thing we want to do is add our photo mats. And so what you're going to want for this is take, I used um, the blue cardstock. You really can use anything you want. Again, if you're working with school colors, you know, maybe you've got blue and gold. Maybe you want to add some more gold or you've got blue and red. So you maybe would want to use some red here to bring out those colors. However it works, um, I actually cut these um, already and I just did a variety of five and a half by four inch mats and four inch mats. Okay, so I've just got three of each and I'm just gonna arrange them on the layout and we also wanna incorporate a place to do journaling. So I'm gonna kind of think about that as well. And I've got these kind of overlapped and that's kind of a fun way to, to put photos together too, if you're able to do it, just overlap them a little bit. And then maybe on this side, I'll do it just a little bit differently. I wanna incorporate those cool embellishments from the, from the packs as well. So let me just kind of play with this a little bit. So maybe something like this. And then I did pull out, uh, I cut one of the variety mats in half from the back to school collection. So again, adding a little bit more color. And I'm just gonna tuck this under here. So I've got a little spot to do my journaling. 
And then I pulled out several of the really cool embellishments from the On the Field collection, which um, covers both, um, you know, kind of covers the rugby and soccer and that kind of thing. And let's see how I want to do this. I love this one too. It just shows shows some more color. It just shows the team. I love it. So cute. And then we've got our little soccer player. So we're just gonna put that over here like this. So we've got got a lot of interest going on all around the layout. And then of course you're gonna want to take your your photos and add them. And I'm just gonna place them on here um, as as if they were photos but of course your photos would take center stage here and you can spread them out and arrange them however it works best for you but this is just sort of a an idea to get you going So this is the way I'm thinking I'm going to finish this off. I might add a few stickers from the, the um, back to school sticker pack as well, but I will be sure to come back on and show you the completed layout um, at the end. But what I also wanted to show you right now was another variation on this layout. So again, let's go back. We've got the original where it's on the side like this, and it's just a single page layout. So I wanted to make this into another two page spread with it on the side like that. And so I used the Sparks of Magic collection. And I did just that. So here we go, we've got the Sparks of Magic. And I put it on the side. And then I repeated this, the same spacing all the way along the other side, but instead of notching the other side, I kept it straight. And then I put that embellishment with all the little flags on just this side and then arranged my photos around it. So again, you've got kind of that um, embellishment cluster the visual triangle, you've got lots of room for your photos, and it's just a really bright and fun page for an amusement park or anything like that. So hopefully you get some ideas on how you can take some of these single page layouts and stretch them into a two page layout. And I'm, I hope that you enjoyed learning that quick little easy technique for creating these pages and getting them to, getting that little, um, effect um, easily created. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time.